Let us pray. Our Father which art in heaven, we come before you tonight, God, thanking you for this day that you've given to us, for the creation of life, and Father, for the opportunities that you bring each and every day into this world. Father, we pray tonight that you will help us in our meeting, that you will grant your favor upon this meeting and this community of Glasgow, where we call home and where we enjoy the opportunity to work. We pray, Father, that you will bless the staff of the city, protect them, help them in their service. We're thankful, Father, that we have people in our community who make a difference, who serve, who are willing to sacrifice. We pray, God, that as citizens in this community, we will take the responsibility for doing what's right, that this body will legislate and govern with integrity and honesty and fairness. We know all things, Father, come from you. You're the giver of this form of government, and we praise you for democracy. Through Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. Madam Clerk, would you give us a roll call, please? Benio? Present. Gone? Yes, ma'am. Honeycutt? Here. Kirkpatrick? Yes, ma'am. Lowry? Here. Neil? Here. Norris? Here. Trigg? Here. Witcher? You have the minutes of a special call a council meeting that was Monday, August the 2nd, 2021 before you. I'm sure you've had time to look over them. If no one has any corrections, additions, or deletions, I'll accept a motion to, to accept those. Motion. Have a motion by Councilperson Norris. Second, Kirk Patrick. Have a second by <laughs> Councilperson Kirkpatrick. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, like sign. Minutes are passed. Under the unfinished business, we have a second reading of Ordinance 2021 Ordinance Amending Number 2021 2989, the City of Glasgow's annual budget for the fiscal year 7 1 2021 through 6 30 2022. City, City of Glasgow. Ordinance number 2021-blank and ordinance amending ordinance number 2021-2989, the City of Glasgow annual budget for the fiscal year July 1, 2021 through June 30th, 2022, by transferring $14,000 from the unappropriated general fund for an air unit and supplies and receiving $1,875,510.59 into the general fund from the American Rescue Plan and the disbursement of $1,875,510.59 and appropriating from the unappropriated sanitation landfill fund $102,500 for equipment and supplies. Be it hereby ordained by the City of Glasgow, Kentucky that the City of Glasgow annual budget for fiscal year July 1, 2021 through June 30th, 2022 is hereby amended as follows. Section 1. There is hereby transferred from the unappropriated general fund $3,800 to the administrative account 010-1110-8535 contractual improvement for an air unit in the elevator room Section 2, there is hereby transferred from the unappropriated general fund $10,200 to the street account 010-3310-8305 technical supplies for a price increase on salt and mosquito spray. Section 3, there is hereby received $1,475,510.59 into the general fund administrative account 010-1110-6325 federal monies from the American Rescue Plan. Section 4, there is hereby received $400,000 into the general fund stormwater account 010-4440-6325 federal monies from the American Rescue Plan. Section 5, there is hereby transferred from the unappropriated general fund $1,475,510.59 to the administrative account 010-1110-8430 grants and subsidies. Section 6, 
There is hereby transferred from the unappropriated general fund $400,000 to the stormwater account 010-4440-8535, contractual improvements. Section 7, there is hereby transferred from the unappropriated sanitation landfill fund $90,500 to the landfill account 085-4430-8515, construction maintenance equipment for a price increase and bid overage. Section 8, there is hereby transferred from the unappropriated sanitation landfill fund $12,000 to the landfill account 085-4430-8505, technical equipment for well and airline supplies. Section 9, this ordinance shall take effect upon its passage and publication according to law. Harold Armstrong, Mayor, Attest, Mona Simmons, City Clerk, first reading August 2nd, 2021, second reading August 23rd, 2021. Having heard the second reading of this ordinance, do I have a motion to accept as read? Motion by Benell. Second, Lowry. By, by Council uh, Member Benell and a second by Council Member Lowry. Uh, being a second reading, can I have a roll call vote, please? Mayor, I got one, I got one question. Can, can April explain to me the stormwater part? Because I was getting a little bit confused about where the 400000 was coming from and going to. It's, I can tell you. It come from the rescue plant and was appropriated for the stormwater directly and was put in that account to cover that. But if you want to know what it's going to, she can tell you. We never closed out the stormwater. We just quit taking the tax. Right. We appropriate from general fund or wherever we can get it to run it. And that's what this came directly from the American Rescue Fund. The American Rescue money isn't to run stormwater per se. It is one of the things that that money can be utilized for is stormwater projects. And so that is that money will be used for stormwater projects throughout the city. If you add the 400000 along with the 104, that adds up to the total amount that we got. We just put it in two different accounts. Any other questions? Does that money come in and automatically say, like, earmarked for a certain... No, it just gave us guidelines what we could spend it on. And that was one of the, one of the guidelines that we could do immediately, that and infrastructure for water and sewer and there's two or three other things that had no gray area you could just do it for that community relief we could do so much for that so the things that we can do so much for and not and no we can never have to go back on it we're starting to earmark those for those accounts how do you come up with the dollar we use the percentages of what they tell you you can do and you transport that into dollars and cents. Any other questions? Hearing none, can we have the roll call vote, please? Honey Coates? Yes. Kirkpatrick? Yes, ma'am. Lowry? Yes. Neil? Yes. Norris? Yes. Trigg? Yes. Witcher? Yes. Bunnell? Yes. Gaunt? Yes, ma'am. Second reading passes of ordinance, that, that ordinance. Uh, next item on unfinished business, municipal order, uh, reappointing Vicki Bartley to the serve on the Glasgow Plaza Advisory Board. City of Glasgow Municipal Order Number 2021-Blank on order of the Mayor Vicki Bartley is hereby reappointed to serve as a member of the Plaza Theater Advisory Board. This appointment shall be a three-year term expiring October 8, 2024 and is subject to the approval of the Glasgow City Council this 23rd day of August 2021. Harold Armstrong Mayor, Mona Simmons, City Clerk. Having heard this municipal order, do I have a motion to accept? 
have a motion by Council Member Neal. Motion. Se second by Lowry. Council Member Lowry. All those in favor of this resolution signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, like sign. Municipal order passes. The next section is the new business ordinance, uh, first reading of an ordinance enacting and adopting supplement uh, uh, 2021 S50 to the Code of Ordinance of the City of Glasgow. City of Glasgow Ordinance Number 2021 blank, an ordinance enacting and adopting supplement 2021 S50 to the Code of Ordinances of the City of Glasgow, Kentucky. Whereas American Legal Publishing Corporation of Cincinnati, Ohio has completed the 2021 S50 supplement to the Code of Ordinances, Exhibit A, of the City of Glasgow, which supplement contains all ordinances of a general nature enacted since the prior supplement to the Code of Ordinances of this municipality. And whereas American Legal Publishing Corporation has recommended the revision or addition of certain sections of the Code of Ordinances, which are based on or make reference to sections of the Kentucky Revised Statutes, and whereas it is the intent of Council to accept these updated sections in accordance with the changes of the law of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Now therefore be it ordained by the City of Glasgow, Kentucky, Section 1, that the 2021 S50 Supplement to the Code of Ordinances of the City of Glasgow, Kentucky, as submitted by American Legal Publishing Corporation of Cincinnati, and as attached here to as Exhibit A, will be in the same as hereby adopted by reference as if, as if set out in its entirety. Section two, that this ordinance shall take effect and be enforced from and after its date of passage, approval, and publication as required by law. Harold Armstrong, Mayor, Attest, Mona Simmons, City Clerk, first reading, August 23rd, 2021. Having heard this ordinance read, do I have a motion to accept? Have a motion by Council Member Honeycutt. Second, Second by Council Member Norris. Hey, uh, MD, what are the, which one are the, or Danny, which one are the updated sections where it says, uh, whereas it is the Council? All of them are. Okay, all those. Okay. All these in this attachments they are, have the updates in them. Okay, so this whole code of ethics is. This, this is the code that we adopted that's, that's here. This is just the publication and the... They've, they've already been updated and now uh, this, this company in Cincinnati has put them in the proper format and got the correct statute numbers and, and got them ready for publication as part of our ordinances. Uh, it's what we adopted, but we, th this is put in the format to go into the book. Or nothing, there, nothing new, no, 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 nothing new here. This is, they look at what we passed and then they put it together in a, in a uh, appropriate format. Having heard this reading, I have a first and a second motion. Do I, uh, those that approve, signify by saying aye. Aye. Those that oppose, like sign. First reading passes. Next item is a resolution authorizing the City of Glasgow to accept, accept a gift of a lot in Old Spring subdivision. Now, before I start, this lot is the lot that's on the right across Pin Oak from where the uh, head of the Glasgow Police Department is now. So as you turn in, the, the police headquarters is on the left and this lot is on the right. It's that vacant lot. And it belongs to the Gray family and they're giving it to the city. City of Glasgow Resolution Number 2021, Resolution Authorizing the City of Glasgow to Accept a Gift of Lot Number 6 in the Old Stone Spring Subdivision from the Gray Family. Whereas the City of Glasgow Police Department is presently renting a maintenance garage for work on its vehicles and needs to acquire a facility for that purpose and whereas the James Norris Gray Family owns Lot Number 6 of the Old Stone Spring Subdivision on Pin Oak Lane, Plat attached as Exhibit 1, adjacent to the headquarters of the Glasgow Police Department, and is willing to give same to the City of Glasgow at a stated value of 22000 Now let me stop just for a second. Anytime you do a deed, you have to state what the value of the property is in the deed, so you have to pick a value. Uh, this seemed to be an appropriate value. I mean, uh, a lot in a city like that, I would have thought it would have been worth more. 
but there has to be a value in there. So we're just agreeing at their suggestion that 22000 is the stated value. It's on the PVA recorded as that they've been paying taxes on it. Okay. 22000 for the last 10 years. Okay. Uh, I didn't know where it came from, but, but now you know. Whereas the City of Glasgow is willing to accept same as a gift. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the City of Glasgow, Kentucky, as follows, that the family of James Norris Gray has generously offered lot number six of the Old Stone Springs subdivision as set out in Exhibit 1 attached as a gift to the City of Glasgow. Number two, that by this resolution, the City of Glasgow does hereby accept said gift and expresses its gratitude to the family for same and authorizes and directs Mayor Harold Armstrong to execute any and all documents necessary to complete the acquisition of lot number six pursuant to law and to sign the said deed of transfer attached as exhibit two and incorporated herein by reference. So adopted this 23rd day of August, 2021, Harold Armstrong Mayor at test among the Simmons City Clerk. Now, that deed was prepared um, at the direction of the Gray family and Charlie Goodman prepared it Generally, the grantor, which the Grays would be, prepared the deed, and they prepared it, and I've looked at it, and it appears to be perfectly appropriate. I see no problems with it, and uh, that's that's how these, these things all came about. If you have any questions, if I know the answer, I'll try to answer it, but I've told you about everything I know, so there it is. Having heard this resolution, do I have a motion to accept? Motion to accept. I have a motion by Council Member Norris and a second by Council Member Bunnell. All those approved signify by saying aye. aye. Those opposed, like sign. Resolution passes. Hey, Andy, can I just make one suggestion? When somebody does something very generous like that, could we just send them from the City Council or from the City a thank you or, you know, a plan they or something? That, they ask if we did anything during the negotiations of this. They ask it to be very low key. So if we get the building constructed, we'll do something to honor this gift out there at the, at the ceremony. Why don't you name it the Gray Building? I don't want to do that. Okay. Okay. Low key. Okay. And I appreciate that. Gonna, uh, this is just something to be at the next meeting. Can we put on the agenda to have some kind of briefing for me there? If somebody will uh, will be on from the electric plant board to come would like to do that, we can do that. I'll I'll call tomorrow and see if if they want to give us an update for this quarter. Having no more business, and we have several announcements. There will be a special call, planning development, in other words, parks and rec meeting on Wednesday, August the 25th at 4.30 at the Glasgow City Hall, second floor, chamber. Uh, the notice is attached to your agenda. Under the Labor Day closing, Saturday, September the 4th, 2021, the Glasgow Regional Landfill will be closed, and on Monday, September 6th, the Glasgow City Hall, Glasgow Street Sanitation, Transit, Stormwater, and Landfill will be closed. The garbage and recycling for Monday, September the 6th, will be picked up Tuesday, September the 7th, and uh, as usual, please have all your garbage and recycling at the curb by 7 a.m. because they run a long day on Tuesday trying to cover both days. The, uh, the Monday, September 6th infrastructure meeting is canceled due to the Labor Day holiday. The notice is attached in your schedule, uh, your agenda. There will also be a special call infrastructure meeting on Tuesday, the next day, September the 7th at noon at the Department of Public Works, 310 West Front Street. The agenda will be released closer to that date of the meeting. Uh, Terry Benell has a, uh, would like to give a little update on the rebranding situation of the city of Glasgow, then I'll make these other announcements. Thank you, Mayor Armstrong, and to our fellow council members on behalf of the Strategic Planning Committee, just updates on the branding project for Glasgow. Chandler thinks 
uh, was in town last week. They've been in town several times uh, since we've contracted with them. Uh, but I want to thank everybody that participated uh, on Thursday with interviews. Uh, they were they, they did really well. Uh, they were Chandler thinks uh, it was a very productive uh, day uh, in Glasgow. They were here Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of last week. And just uh, to put out there for everyone to know that uh, Chandler Thanks has developed a Facebook page for our branding project. And if you would search Facebook, go under uh, Branding Glasgow, just type in Branding Glasgow, and you can find that, that Facebook page. So you can go to that Facebook page, and, and Chandler Thanks is the administrator on that, and, and they'll you make your comments on that. They welcome those comments. They want to talk and interact as, with as many people as they can. And also, we'll be doing a community survey. They'll be developing a community survey, and then we'll push that out to the community, uh, various emails and other forms uh, to get that out in the community. So again, we appreciate. On behalf of the committee, we do everybody that met on Thursday and uh, everybody that talked to them when they were here Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. They had a, had a good visit uh, to Glasgow, and, and we look forward to their, their work. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Terry. The annual Glasgow Barron County Chamber of Commerce fourth quarterly breakfast of 2021 in honor of uh, Industrial Appreciation Week will be 7 a.m., Thursday, September the 9th at the Cave City Convention Center. This is hosted by this body here, uh, the City Council, the Mayor, and uh, Judge Executive Michael Hale and the Barron County Fiscal Court. The industry, industry of the year will be recognized in that meeting. Uh, you'd like to attend that, and I urge all of you to. You can uh, get in touch with... Uh, I gave them their tickets. You already gave them their tickets? You already have your tickets. So there you are. Uh, Thursday, huh? Thursday the 9th. The 9th, yep. It's on the ticket. And it's 7 a.m. want to remind everybody to be, be preparing for the Household Hazardous Waste Collection and Free Shredder Day on Saturday, September the 11th at Beaver Trail, and that's from 9 a.m. till 12 noon. A list of all the accepted and unaccepted items can be found on the city website and the Facebook page. Uh, so mark your calendar and make sure we had a good turnout last time. Make sure that we have a good one this time and get rid of the, all the, uh, the files and stuff you want to shred and do the household hazardous waste. There will be a public hearing on Monday, September 13, 2021 at 645 here in City Hall in the Council Chambers to your comments from the public regarding proposed 2021 tax rate on real estate and personal property. And our next council meeting will be Monday, September 13, 2021, 7 p.m. in person here at the City uh, Council Chambers. And as long as we can have in person, unless something goes further south than it's already gone on the COVID, we will continue to have in person. But if something happens and we can't, we'll have to revert back to the Zoom meetings. You'll be contacted as soon as we know that's the case. But as long as we can have them in person, that's what I think the body wants to do. Is there any other uh, announcements? Hearing none, I'll accept a motion to close. Motion from Council Member Kirkpatrick. Second. And a second from Council Member uh, Neal. You are adjourned. Thank you all for your participation.